Welcome to day two of our online vacation Bible school. Today we're going to be looking at baptism, but before that we're going to look at Noah's flood and the comparisons between the flood and baptism. So after God created the world, Adam and Eve disobeyed God and brought sin and death into the world. Things got so bad that God decided to wipe out all the wicked people of the earth. But Noah and his family trusted in God, so he decided to keep them safe and also to continue to preserve that line of the Messiah, the Messianic line, who would be Jesus. In Genesis 6 through 9, we hear about Noah and the ark that God commanded him to build to keep them safe. Now, in 1 Peter chapter 3 in the New Testament, God tells us that he saves us through the water of holy baptism, just as he kept Noah and his family safe upon the waters in the ark. So every day you should remember your own baptism and the promises gave you, God gave you through water and word where he washed away your sins and made you safe, saved in his kingdom. Our Bible story today is called Noah's Two by Two Adventure. All of Noah's neighbors forgot God, acted bad. God would soon destroy them. Sinful living makes him sad. God said, get your hammer, build an ark with gopher wood. I will save you, Noah, for you love me as you should. Yes, sir, God, said Noah, and he built a boxy boat. Now, said God, my critters and your family can stay afloat. Clip, cop, clop, clip came donkeys, greeting tiptoe tall giraffes. Monkeys riding lions gave hyenas belly laughs. Two by two, the critters came, a noisy long parade. Welcome, Noah greeted. We are ready, God, he prayed. Noah's neighbors didn't laugh when rain began to fall. Drip, drop, splash, it hit them till the water drowned them all. Up, 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 the water crept to lift the loaded ark. Gurgle, splash, it rained some forty days through light and dark. Splash, drop, drip, then nothing except silence and the sea and cooing, mooing, purring, and Noah praying on his knee. Whoosh! The wind was mighty, dried the water with the air. Down, down, down they floated, every creature, every pair. Bump, scrape, jolt, the vessel rested safe on a mountain top. Faithful God had saved them, he had found this place to stop. Can we go outside now, critters called like playful youth? Noah sent a raven, who, he said, would find the truth. May we leave this boat now, begged the family in the ark. Not until this little dove finds a nice dry place to park. Three times the dove flew out, finding trees with green galore. Soon it was time to exit, and God opened up the door. Living creatures tumbled, stretched themselves, and leaped around. Noah built an altar, said, Thanks, God, for this dry ground. God then said, I promise not to drown the world again. Noah and his family with the critters said, Amen. Thank you, God, for Noah and his story from the past. Rainbows still remind us that your promises will last. So the Bible says about Noah's time that the Lord saw how great man's wickedness in the world had become. We seem to be living in a pretty wicked time in our own world today. Noah and his family then entered the ark in order to be saved from the great flood that God was sending upon the wicked. God closed them in and kept them safe. On Pentecost Sunday, when St. Peter was preaching a sermon about Jesus, he said, Save yourselves from this wicked generation. Then he told them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins as the way of being saved. God had promised that he would never destroy the world by a flood again, but he did promise that he'd send a savior, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins. And that's exactly what he did. Later on, Peter would write a book of the Bible where he said that baptism saves us just as Noah and his family were saved by the water that kept the ark afloat. But not only did Noah enter the ark to be saved through the water, he had to be patient and wait till the flood was over. But he was finally saved by being in the ark and God took him out of the ark so that he could live a life of obedience to God. We've been brought into the ark of God's church through baptism, but we also have to be patient and wait until God takes us out of this wicked world to be with him in heaven. In the meantime, God still takes care of us, just as he took care of Noah and his family and the animals in the ark. 
even when the waters are rough in this life and we have hard times. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for taking care of Noah and his family and for giving them the rainbow as a sign that you never forget your promises. Thank you for baptizing us to make us God's children and help us to look each day to the waters of our baptism to be reminded of your promise to forgive and save us through our baptism. Keep us faithful to you by gathering us into the ark of your church until that day when you take us to yourself in heaven. Amen. I bet you're not too surprised that our catechism lesson today is about baptism. And again, it's sung by a children's choir. What is baptism? Baptism is not just plain water, but it is the water included in God's command and combined with God's word. Continue now with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now we'll pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Finally, we'll pray the prayer that Martin Luther wrote in the Catechism, which is a good prayer to pray every morning. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I command myself, my body and soul and all things, let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We close now with the wonderful hymn about baptism, God's Own Child, I Gladly Say It. God's own child, I gladly say it, I am baptized into Christ. He because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption price. Do I need his treasures many? I have one worth more than any. Well, I enjoyed having another Bible study with you today. I really enjoyed studying God's Word and singing and learning more of the Catechism. Tomorrow, we're going to continue our week of Vacation Bible School on Day 3 by studying God's Holy Ten Commandments. I look forward to talking to you then. God bless you.